Hello everybody and welcome to my channel and welcome to another update for my sample Sunday. It has been more than a couple of weeks since the last time I updated and I just have been sick and all of that so I have decided to take a break for a while but I'm back now and since the last update I was able to finish three items so I'm gonna share with you what those are. The first ones are my shampoo and conditioner from Sasha Juan uh, these two right here I have finished them they are completely done they were quite nicely scented but it, they were very heavily fragranced so it was really difficult to use them on work days because my hair was way too scented for my work so and I can just I can smell them just from the packaging of waving it right here in front of my nose so uh, this is not something that I would buy again for that reason but this was specifically designed for curly hair which I actually have so they it, they were really nice for holding my curls and stuff like that but it was kind of drying and um, even though I used the conditioner they were kind of drying anyhow so I don't know if I can recommend them but if you have oily hair maybe this would be good for you and if you don't mind very heavily fragranced items. And the second thing that I have finished is my Jimmy Choo uh, perfume. I'm not sure how to pronounce this but this is what the little tiny bottle looks like. And I was all the way up there when I started using it and I finished it. In the bottom here you can see there is a little bit um, left but I can't reach that part with the spraying thingy and I'm not gonna break it open to get it out so this wasn't my type of scent at all and I would not be purchasing this and for that reason I can't recommend it to you either I can't even smell it anymore I can't get any more out of it but I remember that I just did not like this at all and I have two items left in this project still so the first one is the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion in the shade Eden so I have used it a couple of times but as you can see I still have about half of this little container left it is way too hot here to be using makeup at all but then to also have primer wet things on my eyelids when I'm sweating and it's all hot here it's just not ideal I, uh, ideal so I'm not gonna be probably finishing this in a long time but I do want to finish it and get it out of my co collection because I just I realize I'm not a pri primer eyeshadow primer kind of girl and then I have my lip gloss from Buxom I haven't made a new line here but previously I was at that line right there and as you can see here I'm down to here I will mark it maybe afterwards or maybe I just use it and try to use it up I have very little left, it's a very small tiny bottle, it only has 1.5 milliliters or 0 0.05 fluid ounces so it's a very tiny cute little thingy and I'm using it sporadically here and there. And those are the two items that I still have to work on until the next time. Now I was very close to finishing everything in this box and then I ordered some skincare and then I got three three new I think three or four new items um, that were kind of samples or free stuff so one of them is actually not sample size but all of the samples that I have in here are stuff that I have gotten like a gift with purchase that I haven't paid for um, because once you order they always most of the uh, online companies just, just give you a few sample thingies so for you to try so for that reason I have a few more items here now than I had the last time but I'm just gonna do not not pull up anything by not looking I'm just gonna pick out something that I think I would be able to use up until next time so I know that I'm not working for two more weeks I have vacation still for two weeks so I know that I can use more perfume now than when I work so I'm gonna pick out two perfumes um, so the first one, I can pick out one of those that I have had for the longest time. Okay, so the first one here is from Karl Lagerfeld. It's the Eau de Toilette. Oh, this is not something I can pronounce, but you can see the name right there. 
So that one is a little sprayer bottle and it is basically completely full. I have never even smelled this. So I will be using that one until the next update and also the uh, Alexander McQueen McQueen Eau de Perfume and this is what the that one looks like and inside it's not all the way full but it's a little spray bottle as you can see right there. So this is something that I haven't smelled either before. So it will be exciting to try to use these ones throughout the upcoming week or weeks. And I can pick out a third item. Let's see. I can pick out this large thing right here and I drop stuff. Uh, this is the Philorga Laboratories uh, Miso Mask. Uh, Anti-wrinkle lightening mask. So this is a full size product I think. Um, hyaluronic acid plus NCTF. I don't know what that is but I ordered a cream and a makeup remover from this brand. This is a quite expensive brand. My um, eye cream that I ordered from them was about five or six hundred Swedish crowns so that would be around 60 American dollars maybe more. Um, so that's quite expensive, so for that reason I ordered two items and they sent me an extra kind of try-on. I can open it and see how big it is on the inside because I don't know. I have never tried this before. This is supposed to be... It enhances skin by improving luminosity and radiance, treats wrinkles and erases signs of, fati signs of fatigue. So I will... I will have to read and see what this is all about, but it seems to be some kind of face mask. For, uh, and it's anti-wrinkles kind of mask, so let's see. Here, okay, so it's a very big container as you can see, but on the inside it's a not that big of a mask. So this is what that one looks like. So this will take me quite some time to use up, I don't use mask on a daily basis, so... We'll see what happens and I don't know what lightening means. I hope it doesn't kind of light my skin because I'm trying to get a tan. But those are the five items that I will be working on until the next update. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like this video if you did like it. And make sure to subscribe to see more of my videos. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye bye.